welcome back to Barnes Basement Treasures. So I'm a little behind on my haul videos. Um, so this will probably be one of multiple videos because I like to keep them in the 15 minute range. Um, but I think the first batch here is things that we got um, at least two weeks ago. And we've been out, I would say, three or four times since then. So, there's a fair amount of stuff here. Um, so, I'm thinking at least two videos. Maybe three. Um, so, but I'll probably do them all at once here and uh, just spread them out a little bit. Okay. So, this first item is a reversible... Um, butterfly caterpillar it actually gets stuffed in here and then it's a caterpillar after that um, now the tag on this of course they wrote the child's name that it belonged to on here um, but it's uh, folk tales and I think I did look it up and it was vintage um, I believe it was in the 15 to $20 range, so that's probably where I'm going to price it at. Um, yeah, no, that was neat. The wings are a little bit rigid. Um, I can't quite tell the material. It's like a, sort of like felt, but a little rougher. Um, and then the caterpillar is very, you know, soft. But it's in great condition, still works, zipper works good. Um, so that was in the stuffy box. I believe I paid like two, yep, yeah, uh, two dollars for this. All right, now this uh came with a bunch of other stuff that um that we had picked up, and it's just a little case, uh, Space Jam. And I don't think it was for anything in particular, but it also comes with this um, lanyard. <laughs> and let's see, made in China. <laughs> let's see, I don't know if that's the year. It says 03-21, but then there's a whole big number behind it, so I'm not sure if that was... The year it was made let's see another tag in here but this like I said it came with a box of stuff um, so probably I think maybe in the $9.99 I'll start it there and it'll probably get caught up in some sales so we'll see but Space Jam is usually pretty decent okay um, Got these LOL uh, bucket hats. Um, these, I don't think there's a year. Really nice condition now. Uh, I believe I paid about 50 cents a piece. There is a second one. But I'm not seeing it here, so I'll probably <laughs> run across it. But there was two of these, so 50 cents a piece on these. Um... But this was unusual. This isn't your usual, the little ball collectibles in there, um, LOL stuff. This was something different. So I thought I'd take a chance on this for 50 cents um, and see where that goes. Okay. Now we have Happy Woodcutter. <laughs> and this is a little beaver. Actually, some of these I, don't, I haven't even checked. Oh, and a little bit of extra tinsel with that one. Jeez, ah, gotta be careful here. Which I'm actually gonna put back in the box for now because I don't want my cat getting either of my cats getting near that. Okay. It's kinda cute. It's it's a hallmark. But it's of a little beaver holding a tree. Um it says 1990 on it. And he's got a chainsaw on one hand and a tree over his shoulder. 
and hopefully this is in focus. <laughs> so, all right. Ah. Okay, I guess I'll do these books so I can get these off to the side. Now, um, these books, I'm not sure how they're going to do. I think um, individually, I don't think they'll do that well. But what I'm going to do is um, I have two different sets here. Or I shouldn't say sets. I don't think um, they were, you know, put out at the same time or anything. They're just by the same company. But they're, <coughs> excuse me, DIY books. And I personally have used these, especially the ortho ones. Let's see, this one is Creative Home Owner Press. Quick guide, step-by-step -step installation techniques. So this one's all about siding. Um, I grabbed these. They were actually in a box of free books um, at a sale. And uh, we like to do DIY projects around the house when we can, when we have time. Um, so I thought maybe I'll hold on to these. Siding wise, we don't really have any issues with siding. The siding's pretty good on this house, so I'm not worried about that. Um, let's see. Windows and doors. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I think I'm going to read through this one before um, I list it. Um, this house was 1963, I believe. Uh, all original uh, windows. So I think I'm going to do a little bit of reading on that. Um, you know, maybe there's some stuff that we can do ourselves uh, to help the window situation around here. Oh, I can't afford to replace them right now. Um, okay, custom closets. So we have some decent sized closets here. Um, so I thought this would be a good one to go through. Um, and see if there's any small projects uh, we can do to help organize our closets. Um, so we'll see, because I've never used, uh, gone through this company of books before, so I'm not sure how that'll go. But when I'm done with these books, I'm going to lot them up and list them together. So that was sort of like mostly, well, all the siding. I was going to say that's inside work, but it's not really. It's with the siding and the windows and doors. It's kind of outside stuff. Okay, these ortho books. I've had these in the past, personally. Um, and I like, they have a lot of detail in them. Um, and how to take care of things. Like, let's see, this one is landscaping. So, let's see. Again, I'll go through these books, see if there's any... You know, information I can get out of them before uh, listing them. Um, this one, how to design and build child, children's play equipment. I'll probably flip through this one, but I don't think we have a need for that. Not anymore, anyways. Um, okay. And this one's all about lawns. This one, again, I'll probably go through it because... Our lawn is, it's okay, but um, I was thinking about, you know, doing some fertilizer. Or there's some, like, the really thin areas, so figure out what kind of grass seed I should be using, that kind of thing. So, again, I'll go through them, um, get the information I want out of them, and then list them. So, if they don't sell after so long, then I'll just pull them and, and uh, donate them. All right, but that was a free box, so I'm happy, I'll be happy if either of those sets actually sells. Now this one, okay, so I think almost everything in this box came together. So, yeah, I think it was the whole box. And I think I paid like three or four dollars for the whole box. There is some stuff that's priced separately. Um, so this is a lighted ornament and let's see, is, is it Hallmark? Yep. Another Hallmark. So this is probably one that where you have to connect it 
into a hmm. Oh, okay. No, this one, all you do is you put, you put the light down in the hole and then it lights up the ornament. But it's just a bell that says uh, Merry Christmas. And let's see. And it says 1986 Hallmark Cards. This, this has got some pretty good age. Uh, let's see. Can't really. I have to sort of put everything on the side after I take them out and uh, rebox everything. All right. Now this is 10 cents. <laughs> Like I said, I think I just put everything in the box and then they ended up selling me the whole box um, for one price. Um, so a little mini glow mold. Um, so we put the, some light in here. Any lights up? So, and there's no company on it. There's some glue. It looks like glue residue. On the bottom so I'm wondering if he was on a stand of some sort or some something extra there but it does look like there's a little glue but other than that he's in excellent condition and a great size for shipping too so um, okay I think my husband grabbed these um, this is one of those open rulers I'm going to try, it actually opens up into about a yardstick, and then it collapses down. But this is a local bank around here, and it's been a very long time since I've seen these being handed out. Um, they usually hand them out at home shows and things. Um, God, probably, I haven't seen that in like at least 15 or so years, maybe 20 so I'm not sure if that how that'll do. Might be handy to have around anyways. Oh yeah, I think <laughs> I think we might be keeping this. Usually we end up keeping the uh, kitty stuff. Plus I think uh my husband picked this up. This is from a company called Jingles and Joy. Microwave and dishwasher safe. And it's got a kitty cat and a big thick winter coat and it says hot drinks and fuzzy socks so maybe keeping this I'm not sure because we have so many mugs around here so maybe if I can uh, you know thin it down with other ones and get rid of some other ones then maybe I'll keep up but <laughs> we have so many all right and this one 75 cents they had on it but again it was part of a big lot I don't know how well you'll be able to see it but it says uh, glass figurine ornament hand painted mini figurine inside figurine or ornament um, special times I think is what the company is it says it's distributed by BJWC okay so I don't know if there's going to be a, a market on this one, but it's possible. It's really nice. There's like a hand-painted uh, birch tree on the outside with a birdhouse. And on the inside, it's a little bear holding a birdhouse in one hand and a cardinal bird perched on his paw <laughs> um, on the other side. So... It looks neat. Um, yeah, so I'm not sure on that one. Sometimes when I get things just so cheap, it, it's interesting to see what, you know, basically, throw, well, I don't want to use the thing, a saying of you throw something on the wall and see, see what sticks. You don't want to throw these things at the wall. Okay, I'm not sure on this one. What on earth? Santa Bank. Oh, wow. I think this is actually a bank. Okay. And then I th and there's a battery compartment. Um, and then there's the 
little compartment where you get the change out. Looks like nothing snapped or anything. Interesting. Um, and there's something in the chimney, so I feel like if this was working, it'll do something. Two double A's. So, yeah, I'll have to... Maybe, um, I have some Christmas stuff. And I'm thinking what I'm going to do is, um, there's a lot of it is things like this where you have to, um, you know, put batteries in it and it'll run. There's actually a few things coming up here. Maybe in the next video that, um, you'll see that need batteries and hopefully everything works. But I'm thinking about doing some short videos, um, like when I, we get close to July and Christmas in July kind of stuff. Um, so I'm thinking I might save the Christmas type items for that. And as I do the listings and do a short, um, with the listings and, um, you know, just call them Christmas in July kind of things. But yeah, that's neat. And is there anything else? Nope, nothing else in that box. Okay. There. All right. So, um, I think I'm going to stop that video. This video. Um, we're at the 16, 17 minute mark. So I think that's a good stopping point for now. I'll get all of that cleaned up. And uh, move on. And do another video so as I do these I'm just gonna keep stringing them out like I don't know if I'll do one a day or every other day probably maybe one a day I haven't put any videos up in a while so it'll be nice to get a, a good uh, length of them going here um, so please like and subscribe share the channel and comment down below um, you know what was your favorite thing that I picked up here um, see you in the next one. Bye.